Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Brother Ray here. Um, blessings and peace to all of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that you guys are having a great day, um, a blessed day, and trusting in our Lord Jesus Christ to carry um, you through your day and let his spirit abide in you uh, with his peace and comfort and joy as well. Uh, the time is 316 on October 27, 2022. Um, I want to go over scripture today. This is in Matthew 10 through 16. Uh, the version of this is the new Messiah version. And it says, and, and this is going to be Matthew 10, 16. And it says, behold, I send you like sheep in the midst of the wolves. Be as crafty as serpents and humble as doves is what Jesus is telling us is that we are to be uh, crafty, be wise. Because, you know, serpents are very subtle, serpents and snakes they're very subtle. They, they're very, they don't, they're not like in the forefront of everything. They kind of work behind the scenes, cunning, using uh, very crafty um, maneuvering, uh, like kind of like stealth in a way. Uh, but they, but they're very, uh, you know, like you said, what snakes are, you can't really see them. You have to be very subtle, very moving, easy, very calculated, you know, in their steps and their approach. And also, and with the hum, being humble as doves, being humble, uh, humility, uh, you know, being very kind, generous, showing love, being pure in heart, um, you know, and this is standing on the word of God. Everything that we have, he equips us with. That's why when he says be, um, even though you're like sheep in a, in a, in a, in a pack of wolves or hunters because they want to destroy the people of God. You know, he has given us everything and equipped us with this word of God foremost, the ultimate weapon against evil and wickedness and through his Holy Spirit. He's given us everything we need to carry out his mission to preach the gospel and to lead people to Christ, be the example of Christ, the living example, being Christ mind, having the wisdom of God, the character, the likeness of God. And letting it be implemented into our lives outward to everyone else. So when I look at this scripture, you know, Jesus is making it. He's, he's telling us we got to be crafty. We got to be wise. We got to be smooth. We got to be able to be able to maneuver. We can't be um, argumentative. We can't be combative, always going head up with someone and, you know, battling because that's not that's not having a peace of God. That's not showing the fruit of the spirit when you do that. You have to be generous. You have to be kind. You have to be pure hearted. You have to have uh, self-control. Um, you know, you have to have um, grace, mercy, you know, forgiveness. You have to be led with all of that. And you have to have temperance. You have to be, you know, um, always in a joyous, in a joyous mode and always edifying and lifting up people um, to the glory of Christ. You know, because if you're going to be a representative, if you're going to be in this fight. You got to be able to stand up on the word of God and be able to be a representative in your life and let it be demonstrated to everyone who you are. Um, it's it's got to be in you. It's got to be in your heart. It can't be something that you just fake it because if eventually when when the pressure comes, when the times of when the, when the pressures of life comes and your flesh rises and Satan rises and the enemies attacking you, what's inside of you will eventually come out. Now, was it going to be good fruit? Or it's going to be rotten fruit. Um, you know, that's that 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 will show your walk with Christ. I mean, that's up to you and your walk with Christ. You can't really see it on the surface. But when you're tested and purified on the fire in tough times, that's when you see what comes out of a man is what's in an abundance of his heart. Will he confess through his mouth? So, you know, make sure you, you understand that Jesus was clear. We are to be. Um, even though we are sheep, he's sending us like sheep out here. You know, uh, you know, we do have the comforter. We do have the shepherd here for the Holy Spirit and the word of God here. But we're going to be out there with, against a bunch of attackers, uh, people that look like they're, they're nice people. They're good people. There's people that you wouldn't know that are witches or warlocks or demons or haters of Satan because they're very calm. They're very cool. They don't, they're not going to say anything. They're going to stay quiet and, and be nice, you know, and be show moral ethics, you know, have an appearance of light. But you don't know what's behind that. What spirit is behind that? 
you know, a lot of people say, oh, I'm spiritual or I serve a higher power. What a higher power is it? You either got the most high, you either got Jesus Christ or you got Satan. You know, there's only one or two. There's no medium gods or any uh, lower or higher gods. There's demons and there's, you know, there's, there's angels and there's demons and there's God and there's Satan. That's it. There's Jesus and the enemy and his legions. That's it. There's no in between. There's no uh, medium or there's no, uh, uh, you know, good luck charm or anything like that or lucky charm or nothing like that. It's either good or evil. It's either God or the devil. You're either on the side of Jesus Christ, you're either his sheep or you're a wolf. You're a wolf, which is a, a part of the enemy, which is Satan, Antichrist, you know. So, like you said, we got to be crafty. We got to be humble. Keep our hearts pure. Let our intentions be righteous according to the will of God. No matter what adversity that we face, make sure our hearts are aligned with God and have his spirit continually dwelling in us through his word. Letting it be the inspiration and the motivation of what drives us every single day. So we can carry on his mission and be better, effective soldiers, brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, leading others to Christ as well. By the way we live and, and how we conduct ourselves inside of our hearts from what's abundance inside of us. So let that be a lesson, uh, just something to think about, you know, something to reflect on. You know, think of how we are supposed to approach our life, because even if we're facing tough situations and hard situations that's what that's when we have to see we have to test ourselves and you, you know god is putting us through fire because it's going to get us for something greater he has something else greater for us but but at the same time we can't be weak followers we can't be weak christians we got to be strong we got to be able to endure we got to be rugged we got to have that um that inner strength from the holy spirit that be able to carry us through all tough times no matter how bad they are because you know we may face some hard times we're going to face hard times but we don't know what's ahead but what the bible says is head it's going to be rough it's going to be strong so you gotta you know pick up your cross and fight this good fight and not get um carried away in things of the world or get carried out with things that don't mean anything or benefit you uh for the kingdom or to benefit anyone else would be used for the kingdom to be benefited for the most high uh, Jesus Christ. So you need to focus on that. Stay focused on his word. Stay focused on loving people, praying for your brothers and sisters, um, staying united in Christ and do not let the deception of the enemy take you away from God's course to what he wants to do in you. So I'm going to leave you guys with that today. Brother Ray's here. I love you guys. I really do in the name of Jesus Christ. You guys have a great evening. Um, have a great night. Till next time, peace. Shalom.